the franchise be your road to success? Well, we're going to find out today thanks to my guest, Leslie Lossenheiser, coming to us all the way from Fort Collins, Colorado. And she is also the author of A Road Map for Success, What It Takes to Build a Successful Franchise. And she is also herself a franchise owner. Leslie, thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you very much for having me. Well, Leslie, you, as I said earlier uh, in the show, you've been a successful franchise owner for a while now, and you've written a book, and I wanted to know, what prompted this book? Well, something I've been wanting to do for quite a while, was just looking for the right opportunity. And when I met Brian Schwartz with 50 Interview Series, when we were working on a festival together, I just really loved the concept of his book. Um, how he was doing the interviews and I'd asked him if they had done anything on franchising and he he said he hadn't so I thought what a great opportunity so I dove right in um, and completed the book last year. Okay excellent and how many uh, franchise owners did you interview for your book was it uh, 50 or was it 10 because I know he has two different series. Yeah it's 50 interview series and it's um, I did 10 so that's sort of uh, I guess volume one and we'll be working on completing the rest of the interviews over the next couple years to get to the the final 50. Okay excellent. Now um, as I said earlier in the conversation you are a franchise owner uh, and I wanted to know you went into businesses and you decided to go with the franchise option as opposed to starting a business from scratch I'd like to know why. Well, when uh, my husband and I decided that we were moving out from California, we had pursued both corporate jobs and um, businesses that were already in existence, non-franchise businesses or thinking about starting our own. And we ended up uh, talking with a franchise consultant, um, not knowing the area that we were going to be moving to. We're a little concerned about getting a business up and running. Mm -hmm. And the franchise model just really made the most sense, particularly for my husband who had never been in business himself before, it seemed like it was something he felt very comfortable coming in and hitting the ground running very quickly with. Okay. Now, I I don't know, and correct me if I'm wrong, you're the expert here, but there must be thousands upon thousands of different franchise options to choose from. How do you just decide one day that you're going to start a business, it's going to be a franchise, and you're going to pick that franchise in particular? How did you go about doing it? Well, we we ended up getting in um, the net of a franchise consultant, Stephen Hogan, with FranChoice, just randomly by doing some internet searching. And he introduced um, himself to us in the process. And what he really did is he spent a lot of time getting to know us, kind of what our budget was, um, where we wanted to be geographically, our strengths, what we did in our corporate backgrounds. And from that, he was able to go through a lot of the franchises um, and completely get rid of them because they weren't going to be appropriate. And we ended up with looking at five franchises that we considered. Okay, so you ended up with five of them. And what was sort of the determining factor for you to pick the one that you actually did select in the end? It was a process of elimination. One or two we quickly got rid of um, pretty quickly. It just didn't seem like it was a concept that either one of us were all that enthusiastic about. And then we got basically down to two that we thought had really solid business models that made a lot of sense, that had good ROI. And the one that we ended up purchasing, PuroClean, just seemed like it had everything that we were looking for, the lifestyle component to it, the flexibility, um, the ROI, the gross margin, the business-to-business, business-to-consumer aspect of it, um, a very solid recession-proof business. So all of those factors just made that one the one that we decided to go with. Okay. And what about the learning curve? Like, I, I understand that with the franchise, you actually have a business model that you have to follow, but there must have still been some type of learning curve involved. How did you deal with that, and how long did it take you to feel comfortable in your business? Well, they do a very good job. I mean, that's why a franchise model works very well. Their systems and their training is just excellent. They take people who have no experience at all in the industry like we did, uh, had no idea about mold restoration, water damage, and in a very quick basis, they get us up to speed quickly, proficiently enough that we can come back from training and confidently start the business. Okay. And how long is the training? It was three weeks, and that varies, um, but we spent three weeks in Florida. Okay. Oh, okay. That's it. So three intense weeks, and you were yes. able to learn the basics, and then you were actually able to step into your franchise and start operating it. Mm-hmm. And we had, you know, our first job within a couple of weeks of returning 
Stephen has since gone back and gotten um, continuing education and certifications in our industry, okay. but we, we got enough from that initial training to go out and get started.